see, he's had so many. Wait, wait, save it for the phone. Yeah, wait, yeah, I yeah, can't save wait it for to the hear. Pod, bro. I'm salivating already. Today's a special episode. Here at Something Went Wrong, um, we like to reward our fans, okay? And uh, there was a very special fan, our biggest fan of the show, that wanted, you know, I was like, you know, it would be nice to, like, give them the experience of actually coming on the show. Uh, Michael Michael Sorrentino, is yes. it? Yes. Mike is a big yes. fan of the Something Went Wrong yes. podcast. You may yeah. uh, know me as uh, Mike the Situation. It could be the investigation, M- more so new to everyone, the publication. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it could be the destination, but you were just witness to the manipulation mm. of all these <laughs> wordplay. Mm-hmm. But I actually have a fan badge yes. for this man right here, which tells you how good of friends we are. I have like the official Facebook fan <laughs> badge for this man right here. Did you know oh, that? Like, no. I think if someone like watches enough clips or something, yeah. they get like a fan badge. Oh, yeah. So we're filming yes. the show. It, where were we? Somewhere like in Arizona or some shit. And he like just like he's like, yo, look, I got a fan badge. <laughs> yeah. Because what happens is is like I get in trouble for all the wild shit that I say, uh-huh. right? Yeah. And uh, but Mike loves it on the low. Like in the room, he's like, this is disgusting. How could you? How could you eat ass? How yes. could you get your ass eaten? My, my, but then when yeah. the cameras go off, he's yeah. like, yo, bro. Yeah. He's yo. like, that's the shit right my, there. My wife definitely warns me about going on this podcast. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you know you're doing something right when yeah, the wife yeah. got to warn yeah. you about the podcast. You're PC now, more. Um, I mean, listen, I think I've I've gone through everything. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, if you've, you know, been a part of my story, you know that I have was, you know, uh, a, the, one of the biggest savages there there is. And then, but I made it to the other side where most people want to go. They want to yeah. make it to the other side, they're away from the partying and the drugs and eventually get to their happy ending, which usually is a family and, and, and kids mm-hmm. and which I've made it there. So. Well, that's the thing. I don't think he's PC, but... At a certain point, you have to be respectful to your wife, yes, to your right. partner, to your yes. children. 100%. Like I, when I, I don't have any of those, yeah, so exactly. I could just be fucking ratchet. You know yes, what I mean? A hundred percent. That was definitely a, a tricky point for me when I was writing my book, mm. that I had to to walk that fine line of being a, a husband and a dad first, but I also had to narrate and articulate uh, my younger years in in tv and in show business which were crazy you know? yeah and mike knows that like you know things are controversial and uh it's not bad you obviously don't want to be stupid and go too far but at the same time you know like you wanted to tell your story yes. and you know 100 percent. things are juicy yes. like people are risk takers you know you can't always just play it safe yeah i had to i told my wife i'm like listen i think I, put the mic closer to you i have to tell the truth mm-hmm. of what happened, but if I can articulate it and finesse it just right, yeah, it, it, it's not disrespect, yeah. which yeah. I believe I did. Well, Sienna is like 17 years old. <laughs> um, this is Mike the Situation. He was a legend. He is a legend, but back in the day, yeah. the first Jersey Shore, he was like, you know, the star because he was just so crazy. I actually was, knew of him. Of course. Yeah. He was the guy yeah, that you of knew of, of the show. But yeah, he was a savage. Obviously, he uh, had a drug problem, and that's kind of what fueled it all. I didn't even know it was a drug problem at the time. I just thought I was experimenting and partying like most people probably when they're going clubbing. They just, you know, experimenting and having fun, and eventually, you know, uh, drugs and addiction doesn't discriminate. It's it's like the body and physiology. Mm -hmm. And if you you, you take too much of it, you're like, oh, my God, now I need it all the time, and that's what happened. What was the main drug? I mean, it was uh, to, to be honest with you, my main drug was more, mm. uh, uh, <laughs> but <laughs> which is a good bit. But yeah, mm-hmm. it was more so. Um, I loved pills mm-hmm. of all kinds. My bag was, uh, you know, my Louis Vuitton bag was full of, at one particular time or most times, probably like two hundred and fifty 
uh, oxycodone, 30 milligrams. Then I would probably have probably about 100 Percocets as well, which were called bananas. Then I would have probably, I liked Klonopin and Xanax and Valium. So maybe I would have like 50 Whoa. each of oh those. It was like and, a pharmacist. In yeah. The yeah, pharmacy. I, yeah. And, and then I'd also have some, some Adderall on me just to make sure like if you take too much of the downers, you got to yeah. bring yourself back yeah. up. So then I would have the Adderall. Imagine having that on... Uh, on you at all times it's if insane. you're mad sad you know there's in a, a pill for mood, that there's yeah. a pill for that and once you start to play pharmacist um that's when obviously i had so many issues yeah mm -hmm. well uh do you remember like the first time um because like, you just made me think of that like everybody thinks that they're just partying and having fun but then somebody probably is the first one to be like i think you have a problem yeah like does it go so far back that it's that whole time is distorted or now looking back on it was somebody like like when was the first time it became a problem? I mean, I used to be and not just a party. I, I was a drug dealer before I got famous. Mm. So I was like, in my opinion, I thought I was an expert at sort of being slick and finessing things and hiding things. Yeah. Yeah. But eventually. Um, you know, when you're in the makeup chair and you're sweating profusely in the morning and you're like, why is this person? I mean, those are definitely some signs there yeah. that you're just not being the healthiest. Um, you know, and, but, but your question is like who, when, like, would, who, like who called you out on it? You know, I, I, mean? I think one time Jenny did, um, which oh, I also so like on the, the show, uh -huh. um, she did it. It was like first season press. No, but I mean like while you were doing like, this didn't really happen before the show where like, it was like starting to creep into your real life. Like the like, you know uh, what I mean. I, I went to rehab uh, before first season, oh. uh, okay. for for pills, and then um, the first season, I'm like, all right, uh, I think I might have a problem. I'm going to just drink, which I did. Yeah, yeah. But then season two, once we get the money and the raise mm -hmm. and 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 all that notoriety, it kind of like was like gasoline to the fire, mm. and I went to get a Ferrari with like 500 pills of uh, rock sets in my pocket at the Ooh. time. Mm -hmm. So that was like the start of it. Yeah. Whether yeah. producers be like chill or not? Oh, hundred percent. Yeah, I was a maniac. Yeah. Yeah, he was crazy, but he was like good TV. Like, you know what I mean? Like, he was like fighting with everybody. Yeah. He's bringing girls back to the crib. You know. <laughs> so what did yes. Lauren, wait? What did Lauren tell you? You can't say on this show. <laughs> no, she was just like you know. I she's love like, Lauren. She's La like my sister. Uh, she's she's my my superwoman, my wife, my best friend, my soulmate, and she's like just. Be you, but also be mindful. <laughs> she that, doesn't trust you know, no you're, one you're a dad. You're <laughs> yeah, a dad yeah, first yeah. and a husband. Because she she loves us together, uh -huh. but sometimes <laughs> she understands that I'll let loose a little bit in front of him. Yeah. 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 yeah we she bring we, that, yeah. we bring yeah. it out of each other. Yeah. I was gonna first of all, my he has a book out. That's why he yeah. uh, it's called Reality Check. Yeah. That's why a lot of this stuff he's talking about it, right? Yeah. Because you know, he didn't like go around just like spilling all yes, these stories, yes. but he has a book out. It's doing very well, you know, and uh, that's what I, anyway. So I started getting like these Google alerts yeah, about yeah. all these orgies yeah. that I've been in with Mike. Yep. yep. And since the book came out. Since the book yep, came yep, out. Because yep. he went in deep into the archives. Oh. I did. I yeah. did. Because it's, it's a life. It's a life story. Uh -huh. And um, <laughs> it's a pretty wild life story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. Yeah. It is. It could definitely be like the Wolf of Wall Street one day, mm -hmm. you know, but I, I would like to clarify. So I don't really remember. An Which one? An orgy. <laughs> Which one? There were a few times where I might, like, because, like, back in the day, we used to, like, you know. He's uh, had so many orgies, he doesn't remember. Uh, yeah. I can't keep, I've had 10 orgies this week. He just doesn't <laughs> even remember. He's crazy. He's, like, in, in, in this particular year, I don't want to cut him off. Uh -huh. He's, like, I'm going to, you know, cut him down a little bit. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> nah, Mike, crazy. I, Mike, I'm dating. Don't tell me the don't. truth. I'm dating with intention now. Don't listen to him. He knows he, he only knows the ratchet me because I still talk ratchet, uh -huh. but like I haven't had a threesome in years, actually. I don't even remember the last threesome I had. I gotta get one. Come on, Sienna. <laughs> Let's go. Never, never. Um no, so like I remember a couple times like when we were in the city and shit like that. Like one time, I think like I hooked up with a girl like on the floor of your room. And you probably had a girl, and you know what I'm saying. But, but it was people when they're thinking of an orgy, they're thinking of like yeah, everyone no, fucking it, high fiving, okay, naked, looking at each other, spitting in each other's mouths. Okay, stop, stop. This was stop. not that you, never you, happened. Okay, that never happened. Okay, we I'm might have been in the same room. I'm gonna give some context. Uh -huh. 
we were in the same room. Okay, Polly has confirmed it in front of him, uh-huh. and um, it we did stay on the op, kind of like in the same room, but the girls were kind of like running around. Oh, like, there was many. Yeah, the girls were this. I don't remember. Yeah, I don't girls, remember this. The girls were going. From, was it L.A. or New York? <laughs> was it just you two and like a bunch of girls? No, it was MVP. Who's that? Polly. Oh, sorry. Oh. Was this yeah. in L.A. or New York? I think it was in L.A. Yeah. That's maybe, crazy. maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember. It was, a, it was in LA. I don't remember. Um, I said each other's dick juices. On no, like I've never oh seen God. his dick. <laughs> uh, you know? I, I mean, I, I, I guess, <laughs> I, I guess, I guess. But like, like I didn't like, think of it like that. It was that. like almost like. From couch to couch, the girls would, yeah. That's wow. I was like, oh, this feels like Mike's dick juice. Yeah, yeah. I was like, oh, <laughs> shit. I know this brand. <laughs> I know this funny. flavor. That's nah, we had, insane. we just had, we used to go out to clubs and shit like that, but I don't remember like, a, the, I don't remember like a porn do, orgy. Do, do, I thought that that was my job. I thought I was like a porn you had star. had to have sex? I was like, yeah, that's what Jersey Shore is. Like, we're just like going out and we're like bringing girls home or fucking, you know? Well, no, I mean, listen, as as a guy, young man in your 20s, you know, the the goal is to, to, to be with a girl at the end of the yeah. night. Yeah. Oh, hopefully. And most guys' dream is that. Yeah. It's the most important thing and at the end of the night. You were like you know? chunky and now you were like cute. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, the most important thing at the end of the night. And we kind of just had he like. Was always, he was always cute. Yeah. Thank you. He thank you. Cute, yeah. No, but we we kind of had these like superpowers now that we had fame. And, you know, at the end of the night, when you want to get laid, it's like usually it's hard for a guy to get laid. Uh-huh. Yes. It's not easy. Yeah. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Even yes. a good looking guy, even me yes. now. I am yes. not just walking out on the street and getting laid or in, even in a bar or a club. You know what so I mean? True. So when we had these like, you know, powers of the girls just coming to us, we we're like, all right, fine. Like, come come back with us. And even with the cameras, you would think that everyone would be standoffish. And it was definitely the opposite. The opposite. the opposite. They were back there at the house signing. Yeah, we, we were the ones that probably... Um, certain times building, building a tent uh-huh. uh, under the covers. Yeah, I remember mm. that tent. Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But <laughs> I did it with my dick. Yeah. <laughs> the last time I hooked up with someone on a show, I think was Double Shot at Love or something like that. And the girl, she was like, she was on other shows before. And she was like, why do you want to go under the covers? She's like, we just do it on fully you know what i mean i'm like i'm like no i'm like how i'm like it's, i'm like you're clutching my pearls yeah, i'm like, like, yeah, I'm, like your I'm like i'm like yeah. i'm like i work with these people <laughs> yeah. i know that producer yeah. she's yeah. looking at me in the yeah. other room but not oh, like wow. on the on the other shows they they That's just go all out yes crazy. i i saw another show i don't know which one it was maybe it was another shore show um and it was it was actually on x in the past uh, couple of weeks i think we we sent it in our group chat uh-huh. they were just straight having like a an orgy or something. Oh, you talking about the Brazilian yeah, one? Yeah, yeah. Yo, the Brazilian one? This yeah. girl was getting double teamed yeah, like, on the show. Like, straight up, like... Yeah, two no, guys. No, no fucks. Two yeah. guys. And she... Show, like, your boobs and everything? Everything. Because yeah. I, I was actually on a show, uh, the All-Star Shore yeah. one. I did it with the kid that was on that show. Yeah. And he's like... In Brazil, we don't care. Yeah, it was. It was he all like o- I high five cameraman. It was insane. all over. It was yeah. all over X, and like they were like, not only was it like a tag team, but there was other people coming into the room and taking turns. I yeah, yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah. Oh yeah. my god! Oh, X like, like the porn site. No, no, oh. Twitter. no, no, Twitter. Oh. Yeah, dumbass. Twitter, Twitter. Like, That's X video. Do you yeah, have okay. Do you have a Twitter? I don't use it. Okay. Ever. Yeah, okay. yeah. Mike's big on X. Oh, yeah. Really? No, I have. Oh, I have all the platforms. I have a nice following on yep. each and i used to yeah. just... and i'm like his dirty little secret he I... sends me these dirty videos from twitter all day yes. long he's he's my, he he's my <laughs> single little brother yeah yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah yeah and and that's it we send each other stuff and it's just like it's thing. amazing how you could balance out everything now from being in that world so, like you're still yourself like you're still a little bit of a savage and can like partake in the f- shenanigans yes. without partaking in them yeah. you know yeah, what i mean it's, it's almost like a discretion i guess almost like um you know you knowing who you are uh, at the core inside self uh-huh. and o- over experience and over time you know exactly what to do and what not to do you know almost like a like a little risk assessment tool in your brain of what decisions you should make and what decisions you shouldn't do yeah i always said that too because like uh if there's anyone's like marriage or something that i would have confidence in it's actually his really? because through his rehab yeah. experiences sobriety, yeah. he learned like the tools of life yeah. that you just apply to anything yep. being a father being a, a you know a, a, a husband being a friend you know because i can see it because he's my friend mm-hmm. and i can see him like 
actively like pulling out these tools from the toolbox to apply it to everything that he does. So it's like, in a weird way, it's like if everyone went to rehab, <laughs> like we would all be better people. You know what I mean? Yeah. But we don't all, all have yeah. drug problems to go to rehab. A lot of those tools definitely I use. I can go to rehab. I, have sex I problems. use yeah, yeah. to this day. I mean, listen, I don't. Uh, and again, a lot of people they. they I used to get a tons of nudes being sent to me all the time. Th times Bro, don't blow me up like that. Come on. <laughs> times, 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 it was just time, one time. Times, times have changed, uh, you know, as I'm a father and a husband. But people still send them, okay? Mm. And you and gotta my, look away. And and no, like if they send them to, I don't respond to it. Right. You know I mean, my wife will, you know, she has access to all my socials. She'll see all the DMs, and if people send like nudes or whatever, she'll see that it comes through. But I don't either accept it or or respond to it, which yeah. means like that's the proper thing to do. You like walk away from yeah. the table. Yeah, yeah. If you I don't have to, if you, I don't have if to. you entertain it though, yeah. that's that's the problem. Yes. Yeah. And yeah, yeah. that's you getting closer and closer to temptation. Mm. Mm. They got no following woman, right? Like random. No, I do follow like uh, people from work. Like, yeah. like for instance, like you know, Girls, if if, yeah. if somebody uh, recently interviewed me for for something, and I uh, consider them. Uh, a, a, a peer, I guess. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe. And I'm sure girls try you, even though you're married. For sure, they do. Yeah. Ironically, they do, and it's very surprising. Sometimes you'll get the hey uh -huh. in the DMs, and you're like, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're like, yeah, that's definitely suspect. He just sends those to me. Yeah, yeah. And, and 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 when I send them back, I'll send them a link to buy my book. Oh, <laughs> no. nice. You, you want to sneak in my DMs? Okay, cool. Yeah. Here's a yeah. link to buy my book, and, that, and that'll be Or that. send them Lauren's Instagram page. You yeah. always want a family? I always did. I always did want a family. Even in my crazy years, that of was the, the end game as, uh, for me, uh, an alpha male. Of course. Yeah. I consider myself an alpha male. Um, it, the end game was always uh, family, kids, and uh, continued success. Yeah. You know, and and I definitely found that he just had a third baby. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like yes. two, like a, like a week ago. Like last week. Oh, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, three babies is kicking my butt. Three under three. That's um, insane. Is is definitely. But again, challenging. those life skills. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like the, yeah. what what life's like what what did you learn from that that you can see yourself using like on an everyday basis, like practical things? You know, remember um, we talked about like running the tape. Oh yes, running the tape is is huge. Tell and people I, what running just, the tape is. I just sort of explained it a little bit. Running the tape is is I think a vital tool for anyone, any human being, because uh, and and ironically, they, most people don't use it. They don't no, know what it's a good it is. one. Um, running the tape is almost uh, what I like to call a risk assessment tool in my brain. So when I uh, come up to someone and have a conversation in my brain, um, let's just say if that person is um, uh, being annoying uh, to me, I, in my brain, I'll, I, my brain is probably going to tell me to, to, to walk away or be cordial or be nice. Something easier to explain would be if you're at the bar, mm -hmm. okay, and you, you drove there. Mm -hmm. um, is it a good idea to drink and drive? No. no. Exactly. Okay, so you need to think in your brain. If I go to the bar, I should probably plan ahead and, and maybe go with my friends and have a designated driver. Also, it, let's just say that you're already drinking and you're at the bar. What things could possibly happen? Okay, I could crash. I can get hurt. It's going to hurt my wallet. It could hurt my relationship. Mm -hmm. I could kill somebody. Mm -hmm. So let's not do that. So obviously you would be proactive and you'd plan ahead and get a designated driver or an Uber. It's like that girl in the DM. Which one? She says, hey. And you're like, let me run the tape on this. Oh, yes. yes. I don't say, I'll say hey back yes. to her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a problem. And then a problem. it's going to turn into a conversation. And, yeah. exactly. and then my wife who has access to my socials and I don't, you know, that's an, that's what's called a good yeah. marriage, yeah, full, sure. full, full transparencies. She's going to check and it's going to say, if I did say hey back, Right now, I'm entertaining it. Uh -huh. So now, no, I send a link straight back to buy yeah. my book, and that's it. So, what, but besides that, though, like being a father and all that stuff, because now I look at your life and how challenging yes. it is. You know, being I, a I mean, father I can see the three. same things in my in my son now. My son, uh, he's two, mm -hmm. and uh, when I set up his his breakfast or lunch in the morning, guess what he says? What he wants every day? Did you just guess? Gnocchi? No, no, no. What I, ju I just said the word five minutes ago, ten minutes ago. Alco no, sorry. <laughs> Percocets? Percocet. No. Okay. Vitamin. The no. 
Gavin. He just said it. His kid is two years old. We're joking. No. He, just said oh, it. he doesn't have a pill problem. He, he, said, no, more, he says more Blintstone. every day. Oh, more. Oh, more. oh wow, if wow, I wow. Put on the tea, if I put on... Uh, Blintstone like, vitamins. If I give him a, a thing of snacks, he says he wants more. <laughs> if I give him candy, he says he wants more. Guess where he gets that from? From you. Yeah. 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 So I have to be mindful. Uh, Ooh, to, I didn't think to, of that. To, like to, genetically to, watching to, those signs yeah, in yeah. your children. It's, it's more of just his, his personality. He's always going to want more, you know? Yeah. Kind of like me. Yeah. And that was that was my personality. I always wanted more. I wanted uh, more fun. I wanted to experiment more, this, that, and the other thing. So now... Uh, and like, um, did you have... Like, you didn't have the mentorship and the role model to kind of uh, get that in check from a young age? Uh, at a young age, I didn't have the knowledge of self. Mm-hmm. And most No, but you don't. don't. But I'm saying maybe that, that's where your parents oh, come Oh, in. yeah. You I, know mean, what I mean, obviously, my son's going to grow up. His dad is is a legend in the sobriety community. You know what I mean? I give back. I mean, the New Jersey State Police just called me the other day and they're like, you know, can we collab with you? I mean, imagine that day. I got sent to prison a few years ago. And the the, the New Jersey, uh, New Jersey, the state and their police, they want to collab with me, which is- Romeo is going to be like, can I join basketball? He's like, no, (laughs) AA. Go right away. Children's division. No way. Before it even starts. Are you still like more or is it just like a contained version? You know, like I've heard like an addict is always an addict, but now they're not doing it. I mean, yeah, he's no, still addicted to a lot of things. No, he's no. addicted to the drama. <laughs> no, m- more so. He's addicted I, to working out. He's addicted to getting a haircut. <laughs> I am addicted to bettering myself. Yeah, yeah. You okay? switched the addiction. I, I switched that um, that obsessive personality that was almost killing me to to it's now. Uh, in the beginning, it was to rebuilding my life. Mm. Yeah, and now it's to excelling and getting ahead for me and my family. So I'll take that over over anything. You it's know a good saying? addiction. It's and, positive habits, but now. also yeah, when you're fun. sober, like I feel it's a way dialed down version of it. Mm-hmm. Like when he was had that personality and was high, like those two things, it was like I can't be around this fucking person. Yeah, yeah. but being around now is like. You know, I remember like when we first came back. For, I'm still the same kind of, right? You're still the same. But when we came back for like family vacation in Miami, I remember I'm like, I got to film a scene with Mike. I'm like, I can't film a scene. He's crazy. You know what I mean? Because every time that was my association. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then like he gets in the I'm like, I can't have a conversation with this kid because the conversations back in the day would just be like, yo, bro. I was destroyed you? like 10,000 yeah. times. So like so, me around that time. So, so we filmed and I'm like filming with this like calm yep. person. I remember he was like driving. And he like stops at the stop sign. He like looks, and he's like just like quiet. And I'm like, who the fuck is this guy? I hadn't seen him in like six years. I was destroyed ten thousand ways from Sunday at that particular point because I had went through you know addiction. At that time, I was indicted by the federal government coming after me for millions. Um, so um, and I was almost homeless from you know spending so about a half a million dollars on drugs yeah. and a million dollars to defend my case. So I was really through a lot of wars in life. Yeah, just one of those yeah. things alone yeah, yeah, could fuck you insane. up. Exactly. You had like just three one, of them just, at I don't once. make your addiction worse all that just, just one of those things people just, they they die from. They don't come yeah. back from. Yeah. And like, I was like... Uh, Especially prison, man. I don't know I, how I would yeah, handle and, that. And, and, and prison. And they sent me to prison afterwards. Yeah. So like, yeah. um... I don't thank know, I God just... you went to prison when you were reformed. Yes. And it was, yes. thank, oh. thank God that case took six years. You know what yes. I'm saying? Yeah. Yes. Everything happens for a reason. I'll be honest with you. I definitely fell heavily into my faith for sure. Mm. Uh-huh. And that also gave me the confidence to not only have uh, confidence in myself, but my God above. Once I knew that I was a champion of addiction, uh-huh. which most people, unfortunately, they die from. It's very sad. I knew that I can accomplish anything anything whatever mm. it is you know it could be more tv shows it could be write a book and become an author uh become a father become a good husband change yourself i did everything they said you couldn't do mm. what where where like what kind of faith like religious or um my faith in like god. how do you how do you my, my, yeah my, how my do you in the what's your above? like relationship with that my relationship with god above is i usually um i put god first and um, and also, I, I pray every night. Uh-huh. Uh, my kids, obviously, they're all baptized. Like in a Catholic way? My kids currently right now. Yeah, I'm saying that's Catholic how you ways. pray. Um, what's your definition of that? Um, like, I don't know. Like I grew, So I grew up Catholic. Oh, oh Catholic you're talking school. about saying like seven Hail Marys and seven <laughs> yeah, All Fathers? Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, no, I don't say the All Father and I don't say the Hail Marys. I still I, do. I, I, yeah. I, 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 and again, I I'm, I'm not against it. Isn't that hot? <laughs> I'm not against it. I, obviously, I say those Italian 
those those jokes or whatever that yeah. there were all the time. But no, it's more so like I every night for the most part I thank God in advance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For the abundance, the favor, the prosperity, mm. the promotion. I declare it. I receive it mm. for me, my family, and my future. And then I say that I'm a sinner. And that uh, please forgive me for my sins. Although I try not to sin and I try not to make mistakes, obviously we're human and we do. Yeah. Mm. So therefore I say that every night and I feel that at the end of the day, Jesus Christ has, um, he has died, mm -hmm. right? And uh -huh. risen again for, you know, our, our sins pretty much. Right. Yeah. He's okay. a real relationship with God. Yes. Yeah, she likes thing. a man yeah. of God. You're a fucking sinner. No, I'm, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nah, I get, I get it. Like the first part you were saying was like um, that can apply to any religion, any body of just like the being gratitude and stuff like yes, that. Yes, uh, I'm big with gratitude. Yeah, I and then gratitude the Jesus is thing is like a, a sec sector of religion. Yeah, I feel sure. you know. Most I mean? people don't know that if they are grateful, okay, in life, okay, for whatever you have, it could be the food in your fridge, it could be your health, your parents, your health. Those little things attract more abundance. Yeah. Yeah. We're all I vibrations. Just, I just rewatched. Yes. I'm big into vibrations. Mm -hmm. Me too. Mm, that's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, I just rewatched re Noah. That was a good movie. Me too. It was on the other on day. Netflix, right? It was on the. Uh, yes, I watched it. Yeah. 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 yeah Have you seen it? I haven't it? seen that. It's a good one. Noah's yeah. Ark. Is Descendants, Noah's of, Ark. Descendants of Seth. Seth and Cain yep. and stuff like that. They like made like, they made like a Bible story, like Lord of the Rings. <laughs> They have like these like giant creatures in it. And yeah, stuff. Ru Russell Crowe. Russell Crowe was. Russell oh, Crowe was. No, in I know it. what you're talking. It came yeah, out it's like, on Netflix what? right now. And that's how I was like. I was like, wow. I'm like the Bible it. is really just I, like a. Have you read it? Like actually. The, no, the I Bible is just a script for like supernatural, like cool things. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like when you watch it in a supernatural type of way. Especially the Noah's. Art. Noah's is crazy. Oh, long story short, in prison uh -huh. when I was like really just down, I I used to. Um, channel like certain when i when my wife was walking down the aisle of how upset i used to be that i had to leave my wife on her first year of marriage and be in prison mm -hmm. and i used to be upset that my younger self robbed me of this moment mm -hmm. and i used resentment to always, and, and <laughs> my younger self and i used to always pray and 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 uh you know thank god in advance like i said for the abundance promotion and healing mm. uh mm -hmm. and going forward and and i i still obviously do to this day yeah Beautiful. i've learned that the resentment thing is big for sure cuz like um you were saying that but you could even be resentful of your own so like with my therapy it's all about like um i've i've learned that a lot of the stuff that happens to me is independent of me and uncontrollable. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, if you identify with like the thoughts in your brain and the feelings that you have, you start to be like wrapped up in it. But if you say this is its own independent thing, I have no oh, control. Yeah. It like separates you. Compartmentalize it. Yeah. It separates you Instead from it. Instead of having that narrative, I'm like, oh, I always do that. This is. Yeah. So I'm it's like if, it, if it's like, so my therapist, if it's like I'm sad today, uh -huh. it's not I'm sad or it's not I feel sad yeah. today. It's like my brain is like sending me a feeling of sadness. Oh, okay. Because I didn't choose it. It just happened uncontrollably. Yeah. I, I, I kind of agree. Right. With so that. if Sometimes you, it happens, so if yeah. you, but yeah. if it's different, if you walk around and you're like, I'm sad, I'm sad, I'm sad. Oh. Now you're identified with it. But if it's like, that, vibrational. If you're like, it's not me, it's just like my brain is sad or whatever, I start to like not identify with it as much. Mm. But also, there's another part of it, not resenting it. Not resenting that you have this brain, like you have an addictive brain. If you walked around resenting that, like, why was I born with no, this I or whatever, it. blah, blah, I, blah. I redirected it, you know? Yeah, but sometimes it's uncontrollable. It's never safe. It can come back yeah. at any time. Oh, no, it's always it's always there. Yeah, yeah. But just not resenting that part about you, just accepting it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Also, I've read that you should never vocalize anything negative. Like you just said, I'm having a, I'm a sad day. If you, you know, that doesn't help. Yeah, nope. it does no. not help. You know, I don't sing negative oh. lyrics. Yeah, ever. I never say anything negative, negative lyrics. Mm -hmm. Like what? Negative like from the top, sad. make it drop. Yeah, uh, this I, I won't even any rap songs that are like really negative or weird. I won't say it out loud. I'm oh, really into like my words though. My oh, wife's well. is like, she's like, you're an alien. She's like, you, 99 percent of the time, you are negative, never negative. Yeah. And anytime there's a crisis. She's like, you thrive in it. Do you think that's who yeah. you are or you just develop the habit of doing it so much? 
what being positive or thriving in chaos? Yeah, like being positive and also like not getting like oh not getting rattled, like always finding the positive view on things. I think you know the what I mean? Thriving in chaos comes from my uh belief in God that I'm never alone and mm. that and that belief from above also stems down to me having the belief in myself that if I put in the necessary work and, and, and that that I can make anything happen pretty much. Yeah. yeah, and that's why it's, like, important, the shit that you pass down to your kids because, like, I want to, like, pass down those habits to my kids. Oh, yeah. yeah. Instead of a, a habit that you always have to be afraid. Yeah. Um, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. what happened to me, I think, was I saw them anxious a lot and that Parents? was or, yes okay and even my extended family and that was like the habit that i was just so used to having and then i got passed down the habit mm -hmm. and now like as i get older i'm like i'm like oh these are just habits that my brain has developed yeah and i have to like now start new habits and i think that's why people walk around so much freer because they had like their parents might have or maybe they just didn't see those habits growing, i, I agree know? that parents do pass down uh certain baggage mm -hmm. and habits but also it's your responsibility it's not your fault yeah that you were raised can't or, resent yeah. it yeah. but it is your responsibility to rise above and overcome mm. which i believe you have you're actually i, I can look at you now self-aware your your calmness has definitely increased well you know what's funny over the, like, over the years calm before over the years not not really he, he used to little, be a little more anxious mm -hmm. maybe or, in, in certain situations well it's funny i still am but um you know it's just like it's never oh, the battle's never over but it's like well i shouldn't say battle but it's just like having self-awareness to like you know just continue to go through the work and stuff like that you know what i mean but then i have i have streaks of time i have streaks of time where like when I came back for Jersey Shore family vacation, like I was like a different person. Were, oh, this time? Yeah, like you when I was anxious. when I was thirty. No, no, when I was oh, thirty, I wasn't at all. Got it. Um, and then like I go like in and out of it, but back in the day when we were doing that, that was like the first time that like I've ever even been away, you know, for that long, and you know, filming twenty four seven. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was twenty one. This kid yeah. was he was like twenty nine. You know what oh, I mean? So he's okay. twenty seven. Twenty seven. Yeah. So he like saw a little bit. He lived a little bit. He was like, oh, yeah. this is nothing. Yeah, you know I, was what a, I mean, I was a drug dealer before the show. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, let's, like, let's, let's let it rock. I'm like, oh my god, yeah. camera. Let's go. Yeah, Don't look at me. High school. Yeah, I just graduated <laughs> high school. But, but now, fuck? now look at him. Yeah, he is like a showman on stage, whether it's Bradley or Broadway. Yeah, I was in a. Off Broadway. Broadway. I was in an off Broadway play, and the the street I grew up on in Staten Island was Bradley yeah. Avenue. Uh -huh. So we don't say off Broadway. I was in an off Bradley. Yeah. Play. Oh, that. <laughs> and, and then then he's in Vegas doing the biggest stripping, most elaborate strip shows for uh, Chippendales. Known to man. And then now he's also taken that skill of being on the stage. Uh, and that like that like um, knowledge of self now on stage to to stand up. for stand up, which is really it's amazing because he keeps sort of like leveling up. Yeah. And uh, to be honest with you, it's tough to inspire me, but that inspires me. Thank you, sir. That inspires. Wow, me. that meant a lot. Yeah, that meant a wow. lot. Yeah. You inspire me too, um, for the other reasons that I said. Of like I said, I'm like he would be a great guy to have around in a crisis, mm -hmm. and you know we. Well, also, when we film, it's like it's very, what's the word we're looking for? Painstaking. It's yes. like it's, mm -hmm. it's grueling. You know what I mean? Yeah, so to yeah. have like a positive figure that's kind of like he's like the dad of the situation, yeah, yeah. like it feels really good, you know? How did the show handle you going sober? Were they like, no, because of the character? <sighs> I mean, I was a little worried. Well, it came back after. I, I was a little worried about it in the beginning because, you know, America had loved the situation who had a six pack and was a ladies man and i was just so unpredictable and wild so i had yeah. those those um insecurities uh you know going back in the beginning but i had no choice but to challenge myself and level up to find a different level of myself which was you know always inside of all of us you know yeah. Yeah. so i had to i rebranded myself to big daddy sitch yeah. i was now the funny guy that loved food mm -hmm. uh and also i was the also the sober guy navigating those those streets going back into clubs bars and lounges with my crazy friends mm -hmm. i had to do it there was no like 
AA or NA book for that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I had to like, okay, challenge myself because it was my livelihood. Reality and like, show I, anonymous. And I think I can do it. Yeah. And I eventually, I eventually did it. Now I go to bars. Cl- I'm like going on my ninth year of sobriety. Yeah. I go to doesn't bars. Doesn't even flinch. Doesn't even flinch. I'm yeah. probably the most outgoing club in the bar. Yeah. You know I mean, just because it's my personality. And you ask him, he's like, he hasn't really changed. I just know that if I, if I was to in- ingest alcohol or some sort of substance, I would turn, uh, it would just go past the odometer. It would just turn into something else. Yeah. I remember when, um, remember when you guys did that like E special? Yeah. 2017. So like we were off Jersey shore for a while. Um, I was a nerd doing improv Mm -hmm. (laughs) and UCB. And then like they started to like companies started to like try to get us back together. We Mm -hmm. did like a Burger King commercial. Um, that was like the real first Jersey Shore reunion was the Burger King commercial. Yep. Chicken parm. Yes. So that was racist, actually. Um, like, why <laughs> we got to like chicken parm? Um, and then like E did like a reunion thing, whatever. Yeah. And MTV which, was a little salty about it. You want to hear something funny? They were a little salty. I wasn't invited to it. They wanted me to like do like a cameo in the t-shirt shop and whatever they were paying you guys they were gonna give me like five grand uh-huh. or something like that i don't remember what they were paying it was probably like 20k and they was 20 and they wanted yeah. to give me like five because yeah. like, they just saw me as like an extra yeah. that was like a cameo on the, i'm like no guys like i was on the show like yeah. i started it and finished it i was very yeah. much a character although maybe a little quieter mm-hmm. you know what i mean but anyway i said no to it because i'm like i'm not fucking gonna be a, a t-shirt shop worker yeah um, but anyway, uh, that's that's not the point. Um, he, I remember like watching it, and I was like, that was the first time I saw like the new situation. And I remember you being like a ladies' man, and I remember you looked at your ring, and you're like, "Sorry, late." You were like, "Oh, you weren't, you weren't engaged." I was, it was probably yeah. I was, <coughs> I had a girlfriend. Yeah, he had a girlfriend. He's like, "Sorry, ladies, like I'm taken." And he said that, and I was like, "Oh shit!" Like this guy just like. Because back then, when we said that on the show, we were just, like, going to cheat, like, the next yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, was, it was, like, stupid relationships. Yeah. Like, it didn't make sense. But he was, like, an older guy now. He's, like, so I'm, like, wow. Like, I'm, like, how is this guy going to do that? How is he going to say that yeah. he has a girlfriend? What about all the girls he's yeah. going to get yeah. from doing this? Like, yes. girls, girls, girls was everything, you know? And now I'm in the position where, like, I get it because I'm dating more intentionally. Mm-hmm. And I would love to meet the person that I actually – stand up in front of all these hoes and i'm like sorry ladies i got the one like that doesn't fare me at all what you went in a little open so because you went the three no shut the fuck up (laughs) that's another that's another story you you say these blanket statements on the show with no context okay so just just stop (laughs) but also let me finish my point no i was just saying so i was like i get it you know what i mean where it's a it it used to not be a flex to say i have a girlfriend yeah and then when you reach a certain point like it is a flex to say you have a girlfriend like i would love nothing more than that you know what i mean like to go to the nick game have my girl with me and you know like make tiktoks with her I mean, I mean, more than that stuff, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like real actually connection and intimacy, but that stuff's important. I think you are the energy that you seek. Mm. So if we are in a podcast right now or if we're on TV or wherever we are, if you announce that you're dating with intention or you're looking for Mrs. Right, or whatever it is, that's what will be in your DMs. Mm. okay so yeah. same same That's thing true. with same thing with like my dms i'm getting fun fetty pictures you know what i'm saying mm. i'm getting like i'm so proud of you stuff i'm getting like oh my god i love your book um, yeah that's what i'm like putting out there every now and then i'll get a nudie and i'll be like show my wife and be like oh my god like look at this i won't respond to it it just happens because you're famous and on tv yeah um but you are the energy that you seek so if you put out there that hey it's over um I want to get, you know, eventually married and have a family soon. That's what will come back to you. Yeah, yeah. he's right. Because, like, when you do, like, the Chippendales of it all and stuff, you get, like, the the strippers and the Vegas girls that are in your DMs and stuff like that. Um, it, it's difficult. I, I, I yeah. thought about, like, if I was in your shoes, let's just say I this this particular year, okay, my I just released my book. It took me two years to do it. I'm done with it. One of my goals this year, besides maybe make a documentary or movie out of my book, mm-hmm. I want to get a um, beautiful six-pack this year and put mm-hmm. it on and be like, this is the the situation or whatever. Yeah. Um. That, you know, that could come with, Attention, attention, yeah, 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 yeah. Or, or, or whatever, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so I don't know. Like I told her, I told her uh, last. But imagine time. being Paulie. Mm. 
being in that yeah. environment. Yeah. And he's trying to settle down with Nick. But that's what I was just about it's to say. It's like he's he's a professional. He does it amazing. But imagine like doing those club appearances every every night. And we know what happens at those club appearances. Mm -hmm. It's like there's 20, 25 girls waiting to go back to your room every night. It's yeah. Insane. And he's insane. loyal. That's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, I think it's like it's like uh I was gonna say I said her last time. I said it on another podcast, like in our position, like we've lived a lot of lives. Like so, like, we are kind of weirdly trustworthy mm. in a club or in that position because we're so fucking used yeah, to it. A guy that's yeah, never experienced it, yeah. that before is going to be like, oh, my God. going to make those early mistakes. Yeah. He's going to be like, I never had a threesome. Yeah. Yeah. I've had 14 this week. Mm. So, like, I'm fucking used to it. You know what also I mean? With men, it's, it's on men to decide, like, what he wants in his life and then women kind of come in. Like, a woman can never make you want to be a father or husband. You know what I mean? Like you're like, I'm going to. Oh, you have I'm to decide in, first. Everything yeah, starts exactly. within you first and then spills over. Yeah, but with women, we're like a little different. Like, oh, we can get swayed to be like, okay, I'll have your kid. Oh, like you know become, I mean? you know, still become be the other person. Yeah, whereas like a guy's a good father when he's like, I want this. And so now I'm going to. When his light comes on. Yeah. When his light comes on. Yeah. Yeah. That is true. I, I mean, it happens to all of us. I mean, you know, it happened to me. Mm -hmm. I went through my phase of my wild phase and then I was lucky to make it out to the other side. Paulie did the same, and I think he's going in that direction. Yeah. And now it's yeah, now yeah. it's your turn. My turn. Fuck that. Orgies all day. Yeah. Yeah. Now nah, I saw it down with that shit. I am kind of like sexual though. Like a lot of girls I meet are bisexual in the city. Mm -hmm. You know. So like I don't know if like so okay. They want, they want two guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Doing my bit that you just I saw. I did. I yeah, did. Yeah, yeah. Bit. It was a good oh, one. Oh yeah. Thank I liked yeah, it. Yeah. I liked Thank it. you. I know. I got a lot of. Uh, I got a lot of like. Oh yeah. Don't quit your day job. Uh, comedy's not for everybody. I'm like, yeah. bro. You saw a five second clip. Yeah. What could you have learned from I, that in I, five I seconds? I never listen to the peanut gallery yeah. ever. In, yes, in you the do. Past yes, you do. Fifteen years. No, I see you dunking on people. No. <laughs> okay. My my newest flex is not blocking the haters. Okay. I'm gonna. No, leave. never block. I never. I'm, block. I'm not gonna block the haters. I'm gonna let you live there and watch me win some more. Yeah. I never block. I only the block haters. people that I think are gonna report me. I only block people that make fun of the decor oh, yeah, in my so house. Oh, funny. If you make fun of the decor in my house, you're getting you're blocked. He's very Serious I do not before. care He's about anything serious. else. But if you say that my rug should be brown, you're getting blocked. <laughs> yeah. If you say that like, oh, my friend would have done a better job on your closet. How can you use that person? You're getting blocked. Yeah. But if you're like, you are the worst comedian alive, I'll be like, I'll, I'll take your approach to it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Leave him there. Let it ride. Let them, you know, let them watch you win some more once in a while. I will hit him with the restrict button, which means you know what the restrict button means? No one can see their shit. Yes, oh, uh, I mean they could they can spew all the negativity oh. and hate they want. Yeah, because no and, it, and it. no one sees it, and then you're just like you're the one laughing. Well, because like if you if you that's what people like celebrities don't understand. Like uh -huh. if you block somebody. You just made a connection to that person. You just interacted yeah, oh, with yeah, them. Yeah, 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 I had yeah, to yeah. block you. You get the laugh. <laughs> I mean, like, in, so some kind, in some yeah. kind of way. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like that girl who was like, Vinny has me blocked. And then she like got some clout. She did. Yeah. She got, she got clout. Which one? The hairline one? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> that went famous. That went yeah, I, I even knew of that. Mike knows me as the virus god. What is yes. that? Yes. Uh, no. It, over the past couple of years, um, you know, he calls himself the virus god because a lot of the times... Some of the TikToks and some of the things that he posts. I'm good at I'm good at going viral. Goes viral. Uh -huh. But Mike switched virus. it to the virus god because everything he says relates to me having chlamydia. Yes, yes, oh, okay. yes. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. has a <laughs> full time stock in in his house of, of tennis. Of tennis. <laughs> oh yes, a hundred percent. Yeah, that was one of the reasons probably why I was treated so well. Well, that could go um, either way, right? I thought oh, that yeah. maybe they'd be mean to you. No, I think they recognized at that at that particular time I was like three years sober. I had gotten married on TV. It was actually on TV, me getting married with my wife. And I think like people started to see like, oh my God, this guy is trying to turn over a new leaf and and be a better person. And everyone loves a good comeback story. So when I got to prison, like the guys liked me. So I got perks and I got extra food and I got uh, a, a specific seat at the lunch table. Sometimes guys will come to prison yeah. and they'll try to sit down and like a, a specific ethnic group will look at you and be like, you need to get the fuck up. Yeah. And they have no place to sit. And it's, you know, it's definitely oh kind of sad, but 
you know, it's it's it's. Kind Sienna of, would have yeah. no place to sit. <laughs> I would have no place to sit. <laughs> yeah. The other, because yeah, she's she's mixed. They, 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 she's they, mixed. They, She'd they be like, oh. get out. But no, nah, I would you wouldn't fit it with the whites no, or I would the black with people. The Chinese people, I think, would you know? Nah, fuck that. They would. You they can't just claim in. Asian. Now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, the the prisons are definitely controlled by various groups. Yeah, but tell her about the if somebody tell, doesn't like you. Tell then. about TV time when Double Shot of Love came oh, out. Oh hell yeah, TV time is real serious in prison. Oh really? Um, at the time, a Double Shot was on. I don't know if it was first, second uh, season or whatever. It was my dating show. Um, I, I know. I watched an episode. Um, hmm. The brothers, yeah, loved Double Shot. Black guys. Yeah. The yeah. brothers. It was on. Um, they if you cannot mess with the TV, well, you'll probably get fucked up. To be honest with you, yeah. Um, and they will call me in and be like, "Yo, your boys are on TV, man. It's a good show. They loved it." Yeah. Yeah. See, I'm invited to the cookout. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know, my yep. nigga. Oh, okay. You can't say that. Like, yeah. I know. <laughs> it's just weird when she says it because she's a, yeah. You might, a have that, you might have to cut that shit out. Oh no, she's fucking. Oh, she leaves it on. Well, she's she can she she ride out because she's I'm a- black. No, she's black. Oh, she's black. Oh shit. Yeah. Oh, word. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> he just told an Asian person yeah. said yeah. the N word. It's so like, great. Jingling is going off. Yeah, uh, <laughs> he said you might have to cut that out. Oh, that's so. Funny. Of all the things that were said. Yeah, oh, she, yeah, yeah, yeah. She does look that. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. My mom. It's black. a joke of her. Dad's white. Yeah, he, he, my dad looks a lot like you, actually. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dad's handsome. Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> that's so hot. Looks yeah. like a Nazi. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, no, she's half black, half white. Mm-hmm. She's bisexual and she has a bad back. She's disabled. She's yeah. definitely getting like you know when you go into a parking lot and get like a, a spot. She gets it. She gets time. a spot she every time. Spot every I time. know a white guy. It goes full circle. <laughs> she's right now. she's she can, she's disabled. <laughs> she's going any spot. The other night to. she said her n word joke yeah. on stage right. before she like announced oh, that she yeah. was black. Because like usually that hilarious. Usually, like, Yo, you're gonna have to bleep that out. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> that yeah. Was- <laughs> there's usually a you set it up that you're yeah. black first then yeah. you do the joke but, I totally but she forgot the first part and the whole audience was like, did what you just did they were like yo yeah. and there was black people in the audience too I was yeah. like oh my god Yeah, I was about but it was actually they were surprisingly think, forgiving like I thought someone I would punch so you in the shocked. face me too because yeah. there was black people in the audience I had this joke about how I can I guess an Edward. Asian person if it was a white person they would punch them but like an Asian person it's like still not yeah. good but it's like alright I'm not gonna attack the person for sure about how like I, you shouldn't say the n word if you use white slang like I'm finna skedaddle niggas weird but and then I just went right into <laughs> that joke and then uh, there was black people like whoa yeah, yeah, yeah. I was backstage I was like oh yeah. fuck. I'm like I gotta go yeah. fight yeah. yeah she's black Yo, if you were in prison and you said that you get fucked up yeah you get fucked up. I don't know I'm not saying you but I like, would I'm just saying like yeah if, me, so we if went if to I or someone I'd be that, someone's yeah. bitch me and Paulie went to uh, visit him in prison oh. no cameras yo they lo- they loved him MVP showed up at the prison. And it really, it really shows. Like when all three of us show up someplace uh-huh. at MVP, yeah, people just love our vibe. Like, yeah, whether it's TV, dancing or, with the or, stars, or prison, uh-huh. like yeah. everybody. That's crazy. The demographic, <laughs> anywhere, <laughs> the range on anywhere. that demographic. We go to a nursing wild. home. We yeah. go to a nursing home. Did they yeah. ask you like to sign stuff? They probably in did. They probably no, did. so like his the story of him in prison of visiting him was like crazy. I'd never visited anyone in prison yeah. before. Paulie had the biggest smile on his face. Uh, it was like, federal prison. It was a little different. Uh-huh. It wasn't like Rikers. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? So, like, you kind of walk up there and, like, you see, like, the mm. inmates just, like, it was, like, almost like going to, like, a safari in Disney uh-huh. where it's, like, or no, like, the one where the giraffes come to you. Okay, yeah, yeah. Like, it's, like, it's, like, oh, I'm immersed in this experience. The prisoners are loose. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know exactly the, pr- <laughs> the prisoners were rolling, ro- roaming free <laughs> in the basketball court. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. He 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 had like that Goodfellas vibe. I feel like I could smell them and to touch be. them. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, yo, I feel like I'm too close to them. I'm like, do you guys have a handler? Like, with them? no, you could you could escape if you wanted to, but you knew that they would chase your ass bit. down. <laughs> you knew that they would chase you down, and and it would be worse because next door to you is the barbed wires in the worst prison. So you could escape if you want. But if you decided to do that, you yeah. would get sent to the worst prison. Did anyone try while you were in prison? I mean, people got um, Chinese food delivered to into the woods. The, into the woods, and they'd be like, like, "Yo, can you leave my lo mein at that oh. of the yellow and tree?" Then people would go sneak out to the woods. In other prisons, like they would try to like sneak like prostitutes, or maybe even sometimes like prostitutes. In the woods or whatever to to have sex or whatever, yeah. In the woods. Really? How the hell would they communicate that with a phone? 
Uh, sometimes they sneak phones in the prison. Oh, okay. You okay, know, okay. they try to sneak phones in the prison, drugs in the prison, pre-workout and protein in the prison. Uh, if it ever is found, you're thrown well, yeah. in the shoe, which is a special housing unit, which is like 24-hour lockdown. Oh, Ooh. with no windows, that thing? Yeah, yeah Oh, my yeah, God, that's yeah, just... Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's like, it really is like Giraffe Manor in yeah. Africa. It's like, that. Like they, they can escape, but they're like, no, I like it here. Yeah. Well, not, well, not like when, it, but you know When what I mean. they sent me to prison, a little known fact, which is... It was like insane. Jurassic Park when they took away the fences. Uh, yeah. And they were just like wandering around. In, in my book, when I... The first week I was in prison... I got so much fan mail that I shut down the mail room and I was a little nervous because I'm like, oh, fuck, man, they're going to be That's why I thought people might hate I'm you. Like, yeah. They might, yeah. They might hate me. I think I told you guys. I'm like, they might hate me for this um, because the most important thing to an inmate is getting magazines and getting mail from your loved ones. Mm -hmm. And I shut it down because I got too much uh, fan mail, which was, yeah. I felt I felt great about it, but I was like, I was a little worried about it. Sure. I used no to word. hit him up on some shit called Prison Link. Oh, yeah, it Core was, Links. Oh, Core, Core Links. Links. Core Links. Dating app for prisoners? No, it was just like the way, it was like an email oh. system. And this motherfucker responded to me like instantly. I'm like, yeah. from my. You had computer access. You, there was a computer room. Yeah. Okay. And, and. He was basically at like sleepaway camp. Yeah, that's yeah. how it was. He's a computer of the woods. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Prostitutes. Yeah, you prostitutes. You have Chinese the, food. Pizza the in the TV? woods. Pizza in the woods. Nah, but when we went shot. there. So, yeah, exactly. When we went there, like, I was like, not expecting that. Um, and they weren't, like, there also was no, like, metal detector. Like, you had to, like, sign in, but, like, we said hello to him before I signed in. It was very much like a... <laughs> he signed you in. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he signed me in, you know? I'm like, it's pretty nice up here. <laughs> um, no, so we did that, and then we sat outside on, like, the bench and stuff. Yes, and then, like, another cool. prisoner was, like, walking around with, like, a digital camera. Yep. Yeah. And he took a picture of yep. MVP. We still have that picture. Yeah, we we could, we'll put yeah. it up there. Yeah. Um but yeah, no, it was like it was like great to see him and like uh, the guy from Fire Festival was sitting over yes. there. Oh, the, Billy yeah, McFarlane. Yeah, he was talking yeah. to his his he fam. Was there. Um, the guy, Michael Cohen was there later, Michael right? Michael Cohen yeah, this was is there. the cool kid prison. Yeah, and then yeah. also the guy that that hacked Jennifer Lawrence's nudies was there. Yep, yep, um, yep. young kid. He was uh -huh. a young kid computer hacker. I guess he decided. He loved Hunger Games and wanted to see <laughs> Jennifer. Uh, uh, that shit scares yeah. me so much. Yeah. Oh, your nudes getting leaked? Just, yeah. Yeah, just he won't like, show me. He won't send me any videos. He'll just be like. I'll show you. Yeah. But not, not we're going to send him to you. Oh, yeah, exactly. Nah, exactly. I'll never send a dick pic out. Yeah. I don't think I've ever sent one out either. Even in all my, I, I, I you know. Nah. I don't need my dick in outer space like yeah. that. You yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's not even them sending it. It's like, it's just there. Didn't, like, didn't Drake yeah. just do that? Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I didn't uh, I didn't talk about it for a week straight or anything. Yeah. We filmed the show, it's all I talked about. Really? Because it just happened like that day. I, he was in he was in awe of Jake's dick. I was you know in mean? awe. I still think was it, it was that big? I still think it was a DDL, a Dominican dick lift. Have you ever have you ever met Drake? Yes. Yes. Drake. He was Yeah, he was I didn't very, see his dick. He was very cool and he was a fan of the show. Yeah, Drake's a cool um, Drake's cool people. Yeah. So um but now we just <coughs> saw his dick. Yeah. Is yeah. it big? You didn't see it? No. Oh, we gotta pull that up. Um, it was big and floppy. Like at first, I thought it was like a prosthetic. Uh huh. Like I thought it was like a joke, but then like it was attached to his balls. So, are you saying he was? Do you think he was at full capacity, or is that just the way this it was? Flaccid. It was like uh, it wasn't full capacity, but it was weird. It's like how can you have a semi when it's that big? Mm -hmm. Like it was like yeah, it yeah, was yeah. like it was like eighty percent of it was hard as fuck, and then like the top was like one of those inflatable tubes. I know exactly what you're talking about. That was like about. going like that. Have you ever had that? Uh, the dick like that? Yeah, I've had like three dicks. Let's oh know. shit! <laughs> little white and little white little white dicks. No, two black, one. White. Really? Yeah, oh shit! I told you. I Damn! Like now I'm intimidated. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. yeah. No, nah, I'm good in that black. department. Ask Mike from our orgies. Oh, you know what I'm kidding. saying? <laughs> he knows all about my dick. Oh stop, man! His nickname is Soda Can. Yeah. yeah. Nah, oh, nah. so it's short? Nah, it's not short. Can't. Nah. My nickname would be like. I was uh, like, how big is your dick? And he was like, eh. I'm like a cactus with no arms. Uh, and it's spiky. Oh, okay. <laughs> nah, kind of hot. Nah, nah, nah. Wait, I'm probably bringing it too much. <laughs> um, yeah, another funny thing that I get heat for a lot, which I like to clarify season one of Jersey Shore, mm -hmm. I was sitting, me and Mike, you know, we used to have tension with each other. And I remember one day I looked at him and I He's said, like, I never want to be like you. I said, uh, he would just he would just fuck with me. You know what I mean? He was just like, fuck with me. And I'd be like, I would never want to be like you when I'm 26 years old. <laughs> <laughs> and now, and fast now, forward to and today. Now, wait, wait, wait. 
And now I'm 36 years old. Uh, and somehow I've become Mike the Situation, yeah, which yes. I don't really yeah. see it. Yeah, yeah. He, he has. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yes. In what way? I don't do drugs. Well, I've never maybe, been arrested. Well, maybe not this year. You, I've never been to prison. You were, you're very promiscuous. Okay, very promiscuous. maybe that. That's very, the only... But, 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 no, 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 no. And you're a stripper. And you're a stripper. But in that moment, I was not saying I'm never going to be promiscuous when I'm 26 years old. It's addiction, though. Possibly. And, and, and even I'm the, not addicted no, to pussy. And even in the first season of Jersey Shore, I was just a drinker. Uh -huh. I was just wild. You yeah. know what I mean? And I was just really into, uh, I guess I was just very. Uh, I don't know what I was referring to back at the time, but I don't know how I got this label of being like the new situation because I'm not. Besides the fact that I was in shape yes. and we used to have sex a lot. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Well, listen, you, you you know, you happen to be the new situation. Right? I'm not the Why new situation. Why have a nickname like them? It's a good idea. That's a good question. Um, I feel like I might have tried and felt like left out at the time. Actually, I used to my 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 nickname at the time was Vince Bitch. Oh. oh. Paulie still has me in his phone as Vince Bitch. Wait, wait, wait. You just told us a new uh, nickname from when you were a, a boy. Vin Man. Vin Man. Vin Man. Yeah, Vin yeah. Man? That's yeah. Cute. My dad used to call me Vin Man, Vin Man. And and they made me a jacket that said Vin Man on the back of it. Yeah. You know, I used to go in the mall and they used to like embroider things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had a hoodie and a jacket. Well, I had a hoodie first, then we upgraded to the jacket. And I used to wear it to my school, St. Rita School. And uh, I thought I was the man. And then I used to get made fun of the whole time. Oh. And like, but I had balls though. I'm like, yeah. fuck you guys. Yeah, yeah. I'm wearing my Vin Man jacket. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. But yeah, no, a nickname I, I think is, I mean, you could tell me how, how yours became part of the show. But like the producers just never really like, said to me like you need a nickname yeah you know what i mean Vinny's also like very appealing and sure. maybe they needed like the italian like yeah, Vinny yeah. kind of name you know yeah. but for you like you came in with situation they were like we're calling you the situation yes you know what i mean because it's better it's more beneficial for them too yeah. to have nicknames i came into the first casting and my nickname in college was mikey apps okay okay i would go to college parties and uh, my friends uh to try to get girls to be like yo Bring out Mike. Show me your apps. Mm. Oh, okay. And and they just they didn't look real. They were just very so def like you know um, uh, defined, ripped at the time and yeah. defined. Um, so when I went to the first casting, I told the MTV producers like, yeah, my nickname is Mikey Abs, and they were like, you got anything better? And I was like, actually, I, I kind of do. The week before, I was just signed to uh, a fitness and underwear modeling agency in New York City. Gay. I, I did. I was like, the, my way of, I was like, oh my god, like maybe this is the the right uh, road I'm on. And yeah. uh, to celebrate, I went to the shore with a couple of buddies. And I was totally sh shredded. I was definitely on MDMA at the time, <laughs> <laughs> which obviously makes you even more shredded if anyone yeah, knows yeah. about that because it takes the water out of your body. Mm -hmm. And I'm walking around just totally shredded out of my mind, and I'm so happy that I just got signed to, to an underwear modeling agency. And I walked by a couple, and they were holding hands, uh, mm. a boy and a girl. And uh, the girl, as she's holding her man's hand, she's like, oh, my God, honey, look at his abs. And my buddies are just laughing, like, what kind of couple does that? Yeah. I mean, besides, like, a cuck couple. But, mm. you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? can get down and with then, that. Um, my buddies are like, yo, that's the situation. And I'm like, nah. And, and I'm just being creative and funny. I was like, nah, mm -hmm. this is the real situation. They were saying it in general. Yeah. It was the situation. <coughs> I'm like, nah, this is the situation. So I told MTV the story. And they're like, do you have that trademarked? And at the time, I didn't. But when they asked me if I did, I'm like, yeah, I do. As soon as I walked out of the room, I called a, a family member. I'm like, how do we trademark something? That's awesome. I trademarked the situation. And isn't it funny that like it wouldn't have it would have hit different if your name was Mikey Abs? Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Your life would have been drastically uh, different. A hundred percent. The nickname is the name is everything yeah. of a star. That's why I never became a star. Yeah. I'm Vinny Guadagnino. Yeah. No one can pronounce I'm it. I'm telling you, Vin Man would have took off. I know. Yeah. I know. Maybe I should bring it back. My comedy name is Vin Man. Yeah. Not coming to the stage. This is Vin Man. <laughs> oh, we got oh, Drake's dick. dick. Yeah. Let's look at it. It's like it's on like a yeah. loop. So look, doesn't this look like? Wait, pause Yo. it, pause it, pause it. Doesn't this look like he's holding a dildo right now? Yeah. Like how it's kind of like flopping. Yeah, but I think dicks don't do that. No. Not when they're it. hard. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now, now he goes like that, and now it's and now he's and now I'm like, oh, it's real. Yeah. But real. damn. But he's but at first it's just the way it's hanging to the to the right. I think if you were having a threesome and the guy pulled out that. 
Oh, wait, a threesome with a, wait, what, a wait. guy pulled out that? <laughs> or you, I mean, he'd probably bend over and be like, let's go. <laughs> Why would I be in a threesome I with a guy? how you guys used to, like, in the guy, it's your guy friend, and I've, you're like, damn. I've never had an orgy like that, where oh. I'm looking at guys' dicks and shit. Like I said, there's been, like, same room kind of situations, yeah, no pun No, but intended. I mean, the girl jumping from dick to dick, and then it's, like, on that, and then it's back to you. Would you I don't know. I'm pretty good. I'm like a, I'm like a good, you know, like she's going to need other flavors. You know what For I'm saying? Sure. She's going to need like other shapes and sizes. And uh, it's like that one hurt too much. Like, let me try yours. You know what <laughs> I mean? He's like, he's like, he's like, let me find the right spot. Yeah. It's like when you're at dinner, you know what I mean? It's like you have a little steak and you're like, I need a side. Yeah. yeah, and I'm yeah. like a side. You're like a like little mashed potato. <laughs> yeah. A little cream spinach. Anyway. Yeah. How's your wife doing? <laughs> She's doing good. Yeah, she's uh, recovering amazing. I mean, she's... Tell Lauren a, we didn't do anything bad. I, I, I'll i be honest with you. Um, she's doing amazing. We're doing the 300... That woman's three. been pregnant for seven years straight. Yes, she has. Yeah, back to back to back. She is a superwoman. Uh, when you see her, Vinny, she in two weeks... She's be- the, oh, the bounce back game is the insane. Hum- the human body is just unbelievable she looks so beautiful i mean amazing yeah she's shrunk in size it's just so crazy but i will say that my wife is going to watch every single minute of this podcast (laughs) because she she really she trusts me um she loves Vinny, but i don't know if she uh trusts us together trusts us together or the content in an uncensored podcast that isn't like i'm allowed to go to a i'm allowed to go to a strip club um with MVP, that would be uh, she probably trusts Paulie more than she l- trusts him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm allowed to go to a strip club with them by myself. I, I, that I don't, I, I don't do that. No one that's, fucks at a strip club. You don't yeah, got to worry about that. Yeah, that's you got to be worried about going to I a real club. There's with me. no need for that. Um, but on our show, we go to strip clubs a lot, and I'm, I'm allowed to go with the uh, MVP. Have you ever been to a sex party? I actually have. Um, really? I have not. I, I used to. Those, uh, those exist here. I I cities uh, you, I Gotham City's a weird place. I didn't place. have to. I used to. You had your own. I, I had my own. Me I too. Had like literally like t- like ten in the no. room at the same time. Like ten. And you were alone with yeah, ten me women. Yeah, me and ten. Me and nine. Me and yeah. seven. All, the, was, time, all the time. What were the all guys' time. names? Uh-huh. <laughs> all the time. That's why like I've lived a hundred lives. I have like amazing stories. I've lived a beautiful life, and now I've settled down, and I have this beautiful wife and family. But the stories I have are just insanity yeah can i read about them in your book yes yes. you can read about them in reality check mike the situation um yeah i think we got to end it it's been like an hour your car is waiting oh yes oh yeah you're my uh first jersey shore cast member that came on you know what i'm saying yeah i'm so flattered yeah this was a very nice smooth easy listen yeah yeah what we do here i don't think you really have to edit much that's what we do here uh there's a couple of parts i'm gonna edit pussy <laughs> ah, do you like sienna she's cool right yes yes she wants yes, me very very, she uh, wants me. very good uh um, my deal. interaction I, i'm 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 a very seasoned veteran in this yeah business. yeah yeah i was very impressed well by this podcast. it's chemistry you know we know each other a long time like i knew it'd be like super easy and i told her that too i'm like you know he's the easiest dude to like talk to and shit so yeah, yeah very very fun i think this is like amazing easy listen for a car or, or or whatever good plus there was a lot of good bits in the beginning i thought as well yeah i don't even care i don't know all right well love you guys thank you like subscribe follow mike the situation and uh, buy uh, his book by the book yep reality check and you can hear all about the stories in the book bye thanks guys What's up, guys? If you like the episode, please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. We are building this thing from the ground up, so we need your help, and uh, hopefully we can make this really big one day. Love you.